peace and perfect blessings to you, my brothers and sisters out there. Thank you again for allowing me to come into your lives and to deposit some love, loving thoughts and truths into your spirit, your heart, as we seek to really develop our heart for people centering on God's will. Again, um, we are so grateful that we have had an ambitious uh, vision um, that we believe is properly guided by the Holy Spirit. Um, we sought to come to you this year as best as we can, we could, weekly, through our video log. As you note, notice, it's been a while, and we understand that, you know, everything good doesn't just come about like that. And so we're in this process, and we hope you can bear with us as we seek to put the right um, um, equipment, the right personnel in place. Um, but we felt that it was necessary that we at least share um, some highlights and um, some things God has impressed on my heart for us for the second half of this year here at the International Family Center for Jesus Triple and Consciousness. So, some of you may have noted that uh, I celebrated my birthday uh, on the 26th. Yes, yes, this just a few days ago, actually, two days ago, and I'm so grateful. One of the things God has been um, working in my life and in our life as uh, a ministry um, starting this spring was dealing with us through prayer as we sought to help empower, equip, and help people within our congregation and associates um, discover their spiritual gifts so that they can grow their heart for people by using that which God has endowed us uniquely with. And that went very well. As a result of that, we could, um, um, at the end, have a great um, 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 ministry um, project which we did, which was about introducing the original substance of the divine principles seminars here in Richmond, the OSDP workshops that have been um, galvanizing the spirit world and here in America and all over the world, people have just been um, 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 seeking, seeking where can we find this new wine and, and we are grateful that we could introduce that here in Richmond to the American Club Leadership Conference here in Richmond. And we were delighted for the result. When we work together, uh, we see that great things come about, especially when we celebrate each other, which is a key word for our summer here, uh, what we're going to be using um, through the summer. And hopefully beyond the summer, for us to understand the word um, celebration as we tag that onto prayer and our gifts. Brothers and sisters, so we are so grateful that we could celebrate and, 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 I, and I want you to understand that word celebrate. I celebrated my birthday and it was great. Why was it great, you may ask, if I can just share a little bit about celebration. You see, as we begin to understand that love is really a celebration, yes. Love is really a prayer. When we claim or feel called um, by God um, um, to love, it is, not, it is not an option. It is not optional. It is the greatest of privileges to be endowed with this capacity and this, this drive, this impulse, this urge to want to care for somebody else and share your life in its totality with somebody else. So celebration is at the heart of creation. Why? Why did God create? What is the objective and the purpose of creation? Is to bring joy, to have creation resonate with joy so that God can celebrate. God wants to celebrate Godness, if I could use that word, Godness, which is really goodness because there's goodness in each and every one of us. But when we look at uh, of how to celebrate, 
we find this very clearly in the words that Jesus, our true parent, shared with us, that we should love God. What does that mean? If I love you, I celebrate you. I celebrate the other. I celebrate that which I love, that which I'm drawn to, that which I want to be like, that which I want to encourage, that which I want to empower. I celebrate that other. And so when we bring it down from God, yes, we know God is not quote-unquote just the other because God permeates its creation. Her, his and her creation. God is a parent being. So God is very present. God is omnipresent in God's creation. Yet God transcends God's creation. And we know that evil does not dwell around God. So, yes, God is still the other, but the other within the other. And so we have each other, starting with our spouses, those of us who are married. Who should I then celebrate in my family? As I celebrate God, I should celebrate God in my wife. In my spouse, as a woman, you should celebrate your husband, God in your husband. And so, when this great secret was released to me, and I believe maybe some of you got it already, but really sit with it and understand it. Once we understand how to celebrate the other, life becomes so beautiful. Life becomes more harmonic, more harmonious. Things begin to resonate. God becomes happy. All things in creation begins to want to celebrate you, yourself. So in celebrating my wife, by I said to myself, you know, Lord, I am not one who, you know, with, I've always shied away from, from my own celebration. But, but I love to celebrate others. And sometimes we've done this uh, because we, we, there's something to gain. And I begin to realize that authentic celebration has to do with just freely giving of oneself. Again, that word, Father, Moon, phrases, living for the sake of the other, celebrating for the sake of the other, not for my sake, but for the sake of the other, to rejoice, to be happy. Oh, Lord, thank you. And so, I put myself in this position that I'm going to celebrate my birthday by celebrating my wife. You know, we never go on retreats. We, I mean, we never go on vacations. We never go, we, you know, just, 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 just the way God has called us for now. We thank God because we're going to have an everlasting vacation someday. So this is time to, 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 to do the work, the good, joyful work of, of, of ministry. And so I, I felt it was needed for all the work she does. Yes, all the work she does for me and for true parents. For, 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 for the church, for mission, as a missionary, uh, we can't pay her, we don't have the money to, and so we decided we were going to send her uh, on this retreat. My God, what a great thing that was for me. Sorry to, be, to make it a little personal, because when she came back, oh my goodness, my wife looks better, more beautiful than she left. Heart has grown. Knowledge about God and leadership has deepened. This is what life is about. How to look at another and empower another and feel good for their growth and their development. Again, back to our wired curriculum. Developing a heart, a heart, a heart for another, for others. And where should it start, as I would ask you over and over? It should start with your immediate circle, your spouse, your children your parents, your, your next door neighbor, those who are around you, those who go to church with you. This is where our celebration of love, for life, and unity begins. But we really, really want to celebrate the other authentically without seeking something back. And this is where mission grows, heart grows. The Spirit of God comes in and spirals around. Because if I celebrate you and you celebrate me, woo! Everlasting joy. Everlasting joy, I tell you, when we celebrate each other. So we thank God for those of you who are, are, are seeking to celebrate the other. Please, take it to heart. Your birthday next time it comes around, seek to celebrate it for another. Yes, don't expect. But you know what God will do? God will celebrate you. As we were celebrated, I was... I, I had said to myself in my seventh year um, in Richmond, um, something has to give. We have to 
be able to um, gauge our network in our outreach. And, and I said to myself, you know, in the seventh year in Richmond, I should at least have connected to more than 70 people that I can believe um, um, have my interests at heart or have we have mutual interests for one another as friends, as associates, uh, but persons who I, I, um, um, that I, I could talk to and I could share uh, my thoughts with and they could share their thoughts with me. I was looking, I, I wanted that kind of uh, uh, capacity. And do you know what? This was a great, 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 miraculous um, gift for me, apart from my wife looking so beautiful again after the retreat, that we could have over 70 people send us wishes, but the wishes. Wow, wow. Never expected this. And so, we know God is moving in us, through us. We just want to be humble enough to bring the truth in love to one another. And so, I thank you for being part of the International Family Center for Jesus Through Parents Consciousness, where we are really seeking to break the breaking news effectively so that people will be drawn into the kingdom, not driven away. We want to make the road, the path, a, a path for people to be really prepared where they can, they can sail through and sail into the harbor of God's kingdom. Yes, people of God, we are so grateful for all that you have done and are doing, your financial support, your spiritual praying support. This is the most essential support that comes from the wellspring of a heart that is filled with Xinjiang, that irresistible, irrepressible urge or impulse to want to care and share life with another. For the sake of the other's own celebration, the other's own joy. So, brothers and sisters, we are now in the summer. We'll be launching our 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 summer quarter with the Love and Life uh, mission, a ministry um, on July 8th, Saturday, July the 8th, um, and we'll be looking at how we can continue to meet on Thursdays again, so that we can develop. Um, um, another great offering to God um, so please look for emails look out for for, for, for for correspondence that will direct us to this path I really thank those of you who always respond through the email and, and, and let us know your situation as to why you cannot be here or there and, and, and other prayer requests that you put forward really we, we take this to heart and we do our best to present your request before God as humble as we can. So, brothers and sisters, continue in prayer for one another. Our sports ministry is boom blooming. Yes, Tay Song is now, Ty Johnson is now in Korea in a 40 days workshop. As you know, Ty is one of the seeds of this sporting ministry in light of the soccer component that we've put in place. We wish him well because it is necessary, because soccer is more than just a physical outlook game. It's a game, it's, it's, it's a sport that has a spiritual um, dimension, and it's a sport that could be used as a great vehicle for educating how families can live together with an objective, with a goal in mind, and work together, how a community, how a church can really work together as a team and produce the desired goals and results. So we are so grateful for our sporting ministry and for all those who helped in its inception. We now have a soccer team um, for the summer. It's called the International Intergenerational Family Center Shooting Stars. And we are grateful. We are a Division Four club in Central Virginia Soccer Association League. And we need your prayers. Um, this is allowing us a bigger network and a pool to reach out and serve the the Richmond community, as you did, as you, some of you know, I have been coaching. We have been coaching with the Richmond um, um, Richmond Youth Soccer League here in Richmond, the Richmond Kickers um, Youth Soccer League, and we volunteered with them now, going on three years, and it's been fantastic um, to see every time. Um, after the first year, we've always gone undefeated, and this year was no different. So we took a bunch of young U6 
kids and they went nine and all. So we're just grateful. We pray um, that your ministries as, as individuals, wherever you are, wherever you are, please take this message to heart. Go and look for another to celebrate before you even establish, unless God has impressed on you a different way, seek somebody. Seek to partner, seek to celebrate another who is maybe doing something similar. That is why we visit other churches, other religious places, to celebrate them, to love them, to serve them, to come for their sake, for the sake of God. Because if I live for your sake, I'm living for the sake of, of, our, of, your, of the parent being who created us. Think about it. Go celebrate the other. If you're in Women's Federation, celebrate ACLs. If you're in ACLs, celebrate Women's Federation. If you're in UPM, celebrate Women's Federation. Celebrate ACLC. If you're wherever, let's celebrate each other. Love and Life celebrates, celebrates all the ministries that, that the church um, can think of, that the movement itself can think of. Because we are one. There are no divisions. There are no divisions. And we, we, we thank God that we are not here to proselytize. To say, oh, we are the best. No, God is the best. And God is in, in each and every one of us. Every entity or institution that was started, I want to believe, was started with a good thought, a good desire for the sake of doing something great, something better for community. So that root goodness is still in every institution, I believe, unless it is very clear that that institution was set up for hatred or set up as, 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 as a hate device. Then, then we know God is nothing. But if the institution was set up with the slightest inclination that I want to do something for my community, then there is a seed of goodness in it. And that's where God is calling us to celebrate one another because there is a seed of goodness in everyone you will meet today, tomorrow, and forever. There is still a seed of goodness in Satan. That is why God has not, will not obliterate Satan because Satan plays a role even for you and me on to help us know how to receive God and know God and celebrate God. That is why the Bible tells us when the sons of God gather, Satan also is there, is there. And so I have come to understand that it is through the word I celebrate God. And it is through the word, his word tells me to love the enemy. And my fellow churches, my fellow religious brothers are not my enemies. And you, my brother, my sister, you are not my enemy. So think about it. If you are not my enemy, we are not enemies. Think about it. Huh? It should be life should be one big celebration. Are you? I love you. I care for you. Continue to pray for us. And hey, whenever you can join us, Saturdays, 11 a.m. at the International Family Pastoral Center, 5854F, as in family. West Tower Drive, West Tower Drive, Richmond 3225. Feel free, stop on by, but you can always give us a call, 804-571-0432. Again, 804-571-0432. I thank you for allowing me, allowing us this opportunity to come to you. Our home, our aim, and our hope is to win the world. The whole world for God are Jew and to declare the breaking news that the kingdom of God is at hand. God bless you.